hello everyone so in this video let us uh, learn how to copy a report now within easy bi i'm of course talking about easy bi here within easy bi there is a feature called uh, import export and uh, using this feature you can actually easily uh, copy a report or maybe if you want to migrate your reports to maybe another uh, uh, instance of jira you can also do that of course uh, you need to make sure that uh, uh, the report is valid like if if it is using let us say uh, all those fields and measures things should be applicable on the other instance but the thing is that it is possible to uh, export the definition of your uh, of your report and uh, let me show you what i'm talking about so if you are within your uh, analyze tab within uh, easy bi you have you do have this option here called export report so this option will basically export each and everything that you have uh, like all the reports uh, to this uh, text file which you can import uh, i believe this is like uh, a json format now we don't really want to export e each and everything but but uh, if you want you can i mean just take a backup somewhere uh, like your own personal backup of all the reports but let us say you are working on uh, creating a burn down and uh, you are not really sure how to do it or maybe you looked at this sample uh, jira a software uh, report which is like a burn down chart and burn down charts are actually very important people uh, uh, need and they they want to analyze what is what is happening in in their in their in their project and this burn down could be a burn down or it could be maybe i, I don't know maybe uh burn up people do use a burn up uh, charts as well so it is it is really uh, up to you how you want to uh, analyze the data it could be burned down or burn up but the important part here is that uh, creating a burn down report may not be very obvious although it is just a matter of using uh, the time if you remember we have been playing like in the last report we did use the time measure and uh, if you drag it to the row uh, you can of course make sure that you have something on the time so whenever you're doing something with the timeline like it would be uh, maybe maybe a bar chart for example or it could be some kind of uh, a report where uh, you need to analyze something on a timeline so you use uh, you 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 use this uh, uh, time time measure and drag it on to your rows now the thing is that if you want to maybe replicate this in your uh, in your own report you can actually do that it is uh, it is actually very simple you can actually simply copy this uh, so let me just you now go to the option here on top so if you click on the, the export definition uh, you can actually make sure uh, okay i think i need to just let me just refresh this so that uh, because we have some unsaved changes so let us click on it again and uh, we have the burn down chart so if you're like playing with easy bi maybe you're not really sure what you're doing and you just want to experiment just create a copy of it so if you, if you click on it and by the way you can also do a save as by the way so this is also a nice, nice feature but uh, if you do export it will give you all the uh, all the things that you have like all the uh, <clears throat> all the def definition of this particular report you can cancel it and then maybe you can go to your uh, your your own folder like my folder name is all projects and uh, i can then import the definition so i can do that like i can paste it and uh, I, I may want to change the name like maybe this is my all projects burn down and uh, click on ok and it, it will of course uh, import the report for you now you have your own own report don't modify those sample reports i mean you can but uh, those reports are there for your reference if you copy them and uh, maybe uh, use them the way you want then, then of course you can uh, y y you can modify them and uh, you can also learn i, I think learning is re really important here and right now if you notice here this uh, sprint is in the page so basically you can all always uh, take a look at all the dimensions that you may have uh, on top like if you remember when we did the import there there was i think there was an option to also bring in uh, jira software uh, uh, dimensions and measures so make sure that is selected in the beginning so that you can play with the sprints or sprint information you do have some other measures that will that are actually uh, agile specific or jira software specific like uh, story point resolved Story point remaining. So these things are there for you to just uh, simply use. You don't have to like worry about. Uh, I mean, if you're looking at this report, this report will give you uh, within like couple of seconds 
a burn down or burn up report and then of course you can modify it based on your requirements so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video how to export and uh, import the reports i hope you, you i hope you learned something new today and you also enjoyed watching this video thank you very much bye bye